All right, Ghostbusters Afterlife. We're gonna try to speed through this because my videos are too long. Short version is, it's fine. Just like the 2016 one. And goodbye to anyone who can't handle hearing that. It's fine. It's much more similar to the first two than Ghostbusters 2016 is. But I don't think it's as good as those two. And I don't think it's really any better than the 2016 one. It's different. And if you like particular different things, you might enjoy it more. That'll make sense. But I don't think it's objectively better. So, a few notes. My first one is... It took itself too seriously. All the stuff with, and I get that they want to pay respect to Harold Ramis, I, I get that, it's fine, but this whole movie takes itself too seriously. 2016 one, that was not an issue that that problem had. The first two movies don't take themselves seriously, so why should this one? I don't understand, it's weird. Uh, at the end, uh, spoiler alert, I guess, if you haven't seen it, too much Egon. We get uh, the, the first shot where the Phoebe, I think her name is, she's holding the, the plasma, whatever it is, and we see the ghost of Egon from the side helping her hold it, and I, it should have just been that, right? We see that, we don't see the face, we see that, maybe a couple reaction shots from uh, his daughter and from the other Ghostbusters, but then that's it. But we see so much of him, and I'm not one of these people that is... You know, I tend to, I tend to buy in to the, the weird de-aging and recreation Tarkin in that one Star Wars movie where he was already dead, but they just put his face on. I don't, I don't catch that stuff, so I'm not bothered by it visually. I just think it's really weird because he doesn't do anything. He doesn't, he doesn't do anything else uh, in this movie. So it's just kind of weird that they put him in it so much right at the end. If you were going to have him do more stuff, then weave it in throughout. I don't know. It was distracting for me because I know that he's dead. So maybe that's it. Maybe it's because I know that it wasn't really him. Even though I don't think it looks bad. I know that it's not really him. And so it's, it's just distracting. So I wish they would have just almost, almost like how Shazam did Superman at the end of Shazam. Just show it. No face. Reaction shots. And then done. Move on. I get that's a that's a personal opinion. That's not objective. That's fine. Um, I still cannot believe. I think I mentioned this in one of my videos for the earlier Ghostbusters movies. I cannot believe that we don't have fan bases and cults and factions built up around the proof that ghosts are real. And once again, in this movie, just like all the other ones, we get references to oh, that's a class five. Blah 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 blah. And we still have no context for what any of that means in the movies. Maybe there's stuff for that outside of the movies and other extended canon stuff. But in the movies, we still have no idea what that means. But ghosts are real, and that is a known thing in this universe now for several decades. And the most that we get is this one kid that's kind of into this stuff. Sort of. Like... I, this should be a way bigger deal in this world, and it's not. And I just feel like we're missing out on a whole cultural aspect of society by just not having it, like not having people care at all. Um, we, we, you know, we get a little bit of Dan Aykroyd explaining that they were too good, and so ghosts stopped. You know, hauntings were less common, and blah blah blah. I don't understand how that works, but even buying into that. They're still real, right? And they're still going to come back. Which, maybe I missed something, but I don't understand why Dan Aykroyd's character didn't believe Egon. Why would you not believe him? Maybe I missed something. Maybe I'm forgetting it. That whole thing was weird to me, though. It very much... It was very clear that they were contriving these different plot points to get over the fact that they didn't have Harold Ramis, the actor, to use anymore, but they wanted to use his character as this big catalyst. It was very weird and very contrived, and like I said, that led into it taking itself too seriously. My last note, why didn't Egon get trapped? He's a ghost, right? So when they launch all of those traps that draws in all those ghosts from all over the place, why doesn't he get trapped? And this goes back to what I was saying, where we should see him from the side 
see the reaction shots, but then have the plot move forward and you've got to step on the thing. And you, it's almost like an onward thing where it's like, no, you, you want to take this time, but you just don't have the time and you need to just let it go for the good of what needs to be done. And he should have been trapped with all the rest of the ghosts. He's a ghost. Why is he not trapped? Those are my notes. I think it was fine. It was enjoyable. I wouldn't mind watching it again. But I don't think it's objectively better than the, the 2016 one made me laugh way more. It depends on what you want out of it. It's more similar to the first ones. There's a lot more uh, direct continuations of ideas and concepts from the first one. So I get that it's more similar. And so if you enjoyed the first ones, you'll probably enjoy this one more than the 2016 one. But I don't think that being different is bad, especially in a reboot. And I don't think this is better than the 2016 one. I'm probably more likely to rewatch the 2016 one again because it made me laugh more. And maybe that's going to have diminishing returns as I continue to rewatch it. But from what's sticking out in my head, this had a lot of heavy, overly serious stuff that doesn't make sense. And because it takes itself seriously, the fact that it doesn't make sense is an issue. Whereas the 2016 one, it's just trying to be funny. And so if it doesn't make sense, well, that's fine because it's, it's just trying to be funny. I have lower expectations for something like that. So tell me how wrong I am in the comments below. Those are my thoughts on Ghostbusters Afterlife. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.